Well, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and we are back with another episode of my sweet mistake um if you guys don't remember what happened in the last episodes um okay guys sorry they gave me the option to customize the characters and i wanted to because before they were a mess nobody looked like they were related in any kind of way or family so i wanted to change that up um but anywho if you guys don't remember our girl can't remember her name you know it's only the first episode can never remember the names of the first episode um she is uh florence that was her name florence our girl miss florence ended up having to marry um her other main character borea um and that's because she was just out she was wild she was partying and we were forced into a marriage with him because something to have to do with business, I think. Um, we were not happy about it. Neither one of us, if you saw the episode, last episode, looked happy um, having the wedding or anything like that. Um, but of course, you know, we were, we were both forced into it. And I wanted to read the story because I don't think we've read a like forced marriage story. So I wanted to read one of those. But anyway. Well, let's just jump into it. 24 hours before the wedding. It was meant to be one of the happiest days of my life. A day where I could finally marry the man I love and we would become one. Instead, I'm dressed in an exquisite wedding gown, locked in my dressing room, avoiding my fiance, dreading my wedding night and wishing and praying for a miracle. Something to take me away from this nightmare. Open the door, Florence. Go away. We did change our girl up a little bit. We gave her um more ginger hair i think our sister also has ginger hair um because i think we made all the women in our family have ginger hair and our dad has like regular brown hair and maybe our brother too i can't remember but i guess we'll see i wasn't in the mood to talk to anyone not even my sister who i love dearly she was three years older than me and desperate to get married however my dad felt like it was important to marry me off to any loser that had a large bank account i'm sick and tired of your behavior florence he would always say i knew right now he would be disappointed in me once he found out i'd like myself in the dressing room but i didn't care i stopped caring when i found out about his secret give me give her some time so we have our older sister and then i guess our younger brother because we have a brother let's get over and done with um this is boria we've kept him the same because we liked him the way he was we just changed up everybody else and the family members Her eyebrows are too thick. I think I just found my man. I don't think so. That's Borea Medici. You mean the Medici family? As in the Mafia family? Yeah. But also he is the son of Antonio Medici, the new appointed boss of the Two Blades, making him the next in line to take over. Apart from you telling me how powerful he is, you've done nothing but more but make me want him more. Oh girl, your eyebrows too thick sorry it's just looking at him she talking but all i'm looking at is her eyebrows fuck's sake they call him the butcher why what do you think what do you mean yes that's exactly what i mean let's find you someone normal i hate my life right now you will love it once you arrive at the club Uncle Valerence wants a family meeting. Do I need to be there as well? Of course you do. You're family, aren't you? I am, but not an heir. It doesn't matter. You need to be there. All right, I'll be there. Look behind you. Master Medici, your father needs you home why didn't he call me there has been an incident and he sent me to pick you up incident my father would never summon me if it wasn't serious what fucking incident has happened for my father to send his men to summon me home what's going on mr medici will explain everything himself where's my brother at home master medici is my mom okay well, they are all waiting for you at home what the fuck's going on well, let's go and see what's going on 
He is not happy. Last thing I wanted to see was this. My mom cupping her face in her hands and sobbing. This was the first time I've seen my mom cry. And one thing I hated more was seeing her sad. Carlo, my brother, sat on the bed bruised, covered in blood. Looking at my father who was busy typing away on the phone. I was pretty sure he was making arrangements to sort out the fuckery who dared to touch my brother. I mean, who the fuck would touch the two blades? Everyone knew the two blades was practically the Medici. Who are the Medici's, you may ask? In short, the most feared underground mafia family that you don't want to cross. Whoever it was clearly didn't know that. If they did, they would know they wouldn't survive the morning. Right now, death wasn't enough for the bastard. I wanted more than just a quick death for the guy that was responsible for my mother's tears and my brother's blood. What happened? Boria, you're here. I came as soon as I could. We need to talk. I'll meet you in the office. Don't take long. Carlo, are you okay? Do I look okay? I know it was a stupid question to ask. What happened? Maybe this is a better one. I don't want to talk about it. Of course he didn't. He was embarrassed and I could see it in his eyes and body language. He's still upset. I know. I'll sort this out, Mom. I promise. I know, darling. What happened? He was leaning against a car unaware that it belonged to some rich motherfucker. When the guy arrived with his bodyguard and saw Carlo. Car Carlo. Carlo. Leaning against his car. He ordered his security to get rid of him. And of course, Carlo didn't want to move. So he decided to beat him up instead. Did I hear right? Some rich, arrogant guy beat my brother because he was leaning against his car? I was certain now that the guy was clues who we were. Do we know who it was? I got my man speaking on that as we speak. Working on that as we speak. I'm going to deal with this myself. At least we know he's a family man. <laughs> At least we know how to take care of the family. Boss. What do you have for me? His name is Mark Messi. He runs a chain of restaurants. He's single and age 34. He has no siblings and both parents are alive. What's his address? Bora's going to deal with this one. This bodyguard security, whatever it is, he's kind of cute. I think it's his nose. <laughs> I'll text you the details and the address. Got it. We can visit him tomorrow. Why tomorrow? He's getting married tonight. Perfect. Let's go and give him a gift. Oh, what a cutie. Oh, not rolling deep in the nice Jeep. I know he ain't in the Jeep, but it rhymed. Oh. Saying I was furious was an understatement. The moment I stepped out of my car and watched the luxury hotel that I was about to bring hell upon didn't help ease my anger. In fact, it amplified and ignited every inch of my body. I wanted that motherfucker to pay for what he did to my brother. I wanted to see the fear in his eyes the moment he found out who I am and who will be begging for his life. Not the holiday sweets. <laughs> <laughs> I would be enjoying every moment of it. It wasn't often you see people playing God. I walked into the beautifully decorated hall that was filled with lights, food, and music. People dressed in their best clothes, drinking and dancing. Clues that the devil had just walked in. I won't hurt you if you tell me where Mark Messi is. He's at the aisle waiting for his bride. Seems I came at the right time. I love when people listen and do as I say. He dressed like Dracula. I would run, but thing before things get pretty ugly in here. <laughs> they say you ain't gotta tell us twice. We out. Let's go. The moment I caught sight of him standing there, tall and proud, waiting for his fiance, rage washed over me, and I saw nothing but death. Uh, past in the background, like uh, I ain't got nothing to do with this. In front of his guests, I spilt his blood just like he did my brother's, and I enjoyed every punch I gave him. Seeing him beg me to stop didn't do anything to help him out of his situation. I was sure I was going to kill him right here, right now, until... It's our girl, isn't it? It is. How gorgeous. What 
What the hell are you doing? That must be the bride. What does it look like, sweetheart? I'm beating up your fiance. He is so fine. <laughs> Period. Not realizing how fine a man is after he done beat up our man. What a beauty. Why are you beating him? I'm teaching him a lesson. And this teaching couldn't have waited for another day. And it has to be on my wedding night. No, this was an interesting reply. She seemed almost upset I wasn't beating him up today. I was beating him up today and not tomorrow, girl. It's all the same. Why would she be any different? She was concerned more about her party than the well-being girl for fiance. Not that I blame a girl. He's a fucking loser. No, I couldn't wait for another day. And if you were a smart little girl, you would keep that pretty mouth of yours shut. What if I told you I wasn't a smart little girl? I would say you'll be in a lot of trouble. I think it's a little too late. Don't you think? It was the first time a woman had grabbed my attention. It wasn't because of her beauty. It was because of the mouth of hers and the confidence that rated off of her. It was for the way she stood up to me, not caring who was surrounded. she was surrounded by. Having my man stand behind me with guns pointed and my hands covered in the blood of her fiancé didn't seem to matter to her. You don't seem to be concerned about your fiancé's well-being. He's a big boy. I'm sure he can look after himself. That shouldn't have made me smile, but I had a big fucking smile across my face. This woman was intriguing and something about her made me want to know her more suddenly i had the perfect idea the idea that would make him suffer for the rest of his life the idea that was far better than beating him to death mark it's your lucky day you get to live to see tomorrow so you could witness me marry your fiance in front of all these people say that again <laughs> Every time you think about her, remember who she's in bed with. That would teach you not to come near my fucking family again. Bitch. <laughs> come on. Are you crazy? Get over here. Do you need my voice to encourage you to listen? She did not just roll her eyes at me. I don't know who this guy was, but he was crazy. I don't want to marry someone they don't know. I know this was a crazy thing to do. I don't even know this woman's name. But the idea of marrying her and humiliating Mark in front of all these people gave me a satisfying feeling. One that I can easily be comped with. My soon-to-be wife didn't look very happy to be marrying me, but I didn't give a fuck about what she wanted. She was nothing other than a tool in this. I now pronounce your husband a wife. You may now kiss the bride. Not necessary. Let's go. I have no idea what you just, you have no idea what you just did. <laughs> this man, okay, so it wasn't our parents that forced us to get married. He made, we married each other because he had a point to prove. Interesting concept. I arrived at my father's home office and as, as expected, my parents were down each other's throats. My mother cheers with my dad for allowing me to get married. My father always had to defend himself against her accusations. The truth was my parents didn't really have any control over my decision making. If I wanted to do something, I would do it. Mom, this is my decision. How can you be stupid, Boria, and marry a girl you have no idea about? She was right. I had no good idea about this girl. I didn't know who she was or what her background was. I didn't know what came over me to make such an impulsive decision into marrying her. But the, at the time, it felt like the right thing to do. Now that she was in my parents' house, I didn't know what to do with her. I felt the bonus to do a background check on her. We need to know everything about her now that she's living in our house. I'm going to move into one of our houses we owe so she's out the way. I think that's the best thing for the moment. We'll talk about we will be talking about sensitive stuff and she can easily hear our conversation and feed it to our enemies dad you're getting carried away she is a simple girl i don't think we need to worry about her feeding information to our enemies i still can't believe you married her you ruined her future all because you wanted to humiliate some guy i would have been happy with you killing him mom i don't want to discuss this anymore i've married her and now i can't take it back i did what i thought was right at the moment boss what have you found out? She's the youngest sibling of two children. She is British and she came here five months ago to marry Mark Messi. Not out of love, but a marriage out of convenience. You gotta be fucking kidding me. They didn't even love each other? You can't imagine the anger that was burning through me right now. I married this girl because I thought Mark was madly in love with her. And I wanted to know the woman who he loved was with me. Now I learned that they didn't even love each other. It was a marriage of convenience. This is why you don't marry someone you don't know. Why didn't you tell me this before? I'm sorry, Master Medici. 
How was he meant to know you wanted to marry the girl? It all made sense now. The way she casually stood there after seeing Mark covered in blood. She didn't care for him. She was thrilled not to marry that loser. I was her ticket out of the mess her father put her in. She fucking played me and no one plays me. I'm going to have a word with her. Oh, and girl, not, not it's over already. Okay, guys, that is all that I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more, of course. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.